This 1980s computer game simulated AI, but how? It took four MIT students two years to create Zork. No graphics, no sound, just text. A game that you could build in just five minutes today and the world was hooked. They'd type and type and type and the computer would respond like it was alive. Sounds familiar, right? But wait, this was 1980. No LLMs, no data centers. How did they fake intelligence? The Zork parser was ahead of its time. Categorizing words, matching patterns, maintaining a world model through basic data structures. The illusion of understanding was unleashed on the world, but it wasn't quite there. With a pre-programmed parser, Zork would hit a wall when confronted with the more curious of adventurers. It begged the question, did they reach the limits of the immersive experience? Or what if they were just 40 years too early? Because now we have this. Real AI, real understanding of intent, and now, anyone can build the next Zork. One agent, one prompt that basically writes itself. Done. If you're looking for an adventure tackling the future of AI and creativity, subscribe.